p.m. Aquatics, Mac official 3.1. We moved 18 tanks two days ago. The fish have acclimated very well. We've had zero losses other than one fish that jumped. And uh, everything's going well. So we're going to get ready to move the rest of the tanks, which is about 42 more, up to this fish room. First, I got to do something with this mess on the floor here that is my air system. I got it up running. I got an 18 gang valve that's running every tank here. And uh, we got to get this going. I'm looking forward to getting my linear piston pump in here to quiet the squeal of this thing. But first, we got to get some pipe run so the new racks can come in and go in quite smoothly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the pump up on top of these cabinets behind me, come across the ceiling and down right here. Because this is only temporary, I'm going to run a T across here with all my valves. I plan on having racks come out this way, so I'll put a splice here so that I can tap into existing already plumbed with fittings on it. Line, same down on that end. I'll leave myself a couple open caps if I need to expand out the ends. I'm going to leave myself an open cap on the ceiling so that I can go out further if I need to. And I'm going to expand and come across this wall. It's going to be a bit tricky because the fish are, the tanks are already running, I can't start at the pump. I gotta leave the filters running. So I'm gonna start by running along the back of here, running my pipe up across the ceiling, get right to where the pump is gonna be, put all my, shut the pump down, get my gang valves in, and get my valves on, hook up the pump, and we'll be ready to rock. see we got that cleaned up. There's still a couple lines over here that are running across with a couple tanks standing against this wall. Um, as I said, I'm going to try to salvage as much of the PVC out of the old place as I can. I also ran short on valves, so I'm going to have to drill and add some valves to accommodate my upper tanks on this stretch here. Hopefully, not tomorrow, but Saturday, we'll be bringing the lower 75s in. Tomorrow after 9th noon, we'll probably be bringing a couple of racks up to set up here and down on the end. We'll be able to splice into the air system right here. And those racks are already on a loop with all the valves where I need them. So that'll be a real quick fix once those racks get up here. Then some of the bigger tanks, 40 breeders and stuff like that will be coming up. 20 longs, balance of the 10s and some 15s. I got some open space here. I'm not sure if I'm going to go fives or tens. And uh, hopefully we'll be breeding soon and back to selling some fish. One thing I've kind of learned through this process, if you've got 60 aquariums and a house full of crap, you should probably accommodate for a little more than two days off of work for a uh, move. So everything I've been doing, I've been doing in between working. So I get off work, I spend some time in the old fish room, do some water changes, feed, etc. Come up here, work on putting stuff away, work on getting this up and running. It's been uh, exhausting. So if you got more than five or six tanks, I'd highly recommend probably taking a week off of work.